Hey everyone, and I'm here for some more Lord of the Rings Online. Yes, it is the final episode of our Before the Shadow series. Let's get some hype in the chat. We are going to be ending off this storyline. We leveled for a whole, like, two streams to make this day happen. And now, we are finally ready to finish out the story at the base of Weathertop here inside the Lonely Lands. Here we go. <clears throat> the Great East Road has seen much more travel than usual in recent days. What brings you to the base of Weathertop? You briefly explain that you were sent here by Halbarad after being told to level to 32 to warn of increasing dangers in the wild and that a new shadow rises in the realm of Angmar. Candyth nods. I have heard rumors that this might be so from others of my kin that have passed this way and I have seen evils enough with my own eyes not to disbelieve it. We gotta pick a helmet first? Oh my gosh. Well, let's get our brawler helmet on. I'm so excited, chat. We are almost done. The final chapter of Before the Shadow. Here we go. Do they have gauntlets? Oh my gosh, they have gauntlets as reward, chat. Look at the blue armor. Oh my gosh. There is a hidden dale in the troll shards, far to the east and across the last bridge, where the wisest of law masters resides. Elrond is his name, and he is the master of Rivendell. It was in his house that my chieftain Aragorn was raised, and if any will know what must be done about the growing threat of Angmar, it will be he. You must make for Rivendell. I will tell you what I can of this last leg of your journey, Rawhalla. Speak to me when you are ready. Here we go, chat. Orcs have grown bolder and ferocious in recent days. But when you cross the last bridge into the troll shards, you will face greater peril. Something has stirred the beasts of the wild into madness. And if it travels ahead of you, there may be great evil left in its wake. Luck be with you as you travel the road through the Trollshaws and begin the climb towards Rivendell. The path will not be easy, but Elrond must be told of what befell you in Cardolan and of the growing threat of Angmar. Here we go, Good chat. Good luck to you. The road will be a long one, and dangerous. The final instance in the final part of the story. We're gonna punch some half-orcs today. Blocking our road. Not this day. If they knew that we already fought a level 55 and won, they wouldn't even try to fight us, man. They'd be just running. But instead, we gotta show up My the whole friend, party. Do we share the same road? Who are you? Glassabadir? Of course, the well-known ranger, Galassabadir. Everybody knows him. He's right there with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I have not seen you since you departed San Ford in the company of Halbarad, Brawlhalla. When he returned to us, he told us what befell Meneldir before Dor Ernil. And we wept for him, despite his past. But evil stirs in the land, and there is little time to mourn. What brings you into the Lone Lands? You tell Gabaladir that you seek to bring word to Elrond of Rivendell, 
that the Witch King and his servants have evil designs upon the realm of Engmar. The ranger thinks for a moment. I had planned to return to Tornhad in the angle of Mytheathel, Brawlhalla. But your journey feels to be of great import to me. I would accompany you on this quest, if you would have me. The road to Rivendell is idle to be dangerous. Is like to be dangerous. I don't know why I read it as idle. You tell Gebeladir that his company would be welcome as you make for Rivendell. Then we are agreed. Lead on, my friend. Oh, the leaves are changing. Oh, it's getting dark. Right. There it is again, Brawlhalla, among the trees just off the road. Do you hear that rustling? It sounds to me like something large, pretending to be small. A troll, to be certain. Is it beyond hope to think we might pass its notice? He's seen us! Oh crap. It's a ferocious troll! Oh, dang. Another one! A another one? Oh my gosh. I will be glad when we leave the troll shows, friend. Trolls are not known to be clever, Brawlhalla. And for the most part, they do not hunt together. It may have been misfortune alone that we had to face two in succession. Or perhaps the days grow darker, and the rising threat of the shadow makes the creatures grow more bold. I like how he's like, it could be a chance, or maybe it was angry, Ma. We should proceed. Soon we will need to climb, and the footing may become treacherous. It could be rain, or the soul-crushing power of Angmar. I stub my toe, it could be just my clumsy self, or the power of Angmar. I have only been to Rivendell once, in the company of my chieftain Aragorn, but I believe we are nearly there. Soon we will see the elves that guard the pass. No place for Yannin? And you will bring your warning of the shadow that rises in Engmar to Elrond. I think we are close. Rivendell is near. Oh, dang. When did this bush get in the road? Goodness! That's kind of crazy that we're going to Rivendell first. Something has troubled the animals here, as in Cardolan. I expect we'd be. Should there not be guards here? Going right to the start of uh, Volume Four, or uh, Volume One, Book Four. Something is not right. What the heck? What's going on? Could evil have at last found this hidden refuge? Oh crap! Not if we maintain our vigilance, Dunadon. <laughs> you saw no guards. But that does not mean Imladris is unguarded. Oh, crap. It is good to see you again. You are welcome to Imladris, Brawlhalla. And my heart sings to see you safe. Scouts saw you and Galabidir of the Dunedain as you climbed to the High Moor. And they brought word to me, and to others in the Vale as you neared the pass. 
I begged leave of Lord Elrond that I be the one to greet you. You did not make this journey to give him the tidings of Saruman. I have already delivered, I trust. No. I see in your eye there is something else. I told you once we stood on the very precipice of danger, and the events of recent days have shown to me I was more right than I knew. Others await your arrival in Imladris. One such friend made haste to greet you at the entrance, but it seems he has not yet arrived. Look for him further along the path. Your friend awaits further along the path. Who is she talking about? It's just not the same as when you have like the epic Rivendell music. This is like a, a remix. It's kind of cool, but it's just not the same. <gasps> Boromir of Gondor looks up at you with a pleased grin on his face. <clears throat> I see your own journey finds its end in the same northern dale as does mine, Brawlhalla. When I heard the elves called calling <coughs> among themselves that a hobbit neared Rivendell in the company of a ranger, I knew that you and Menadir approached. But where is he? Why does he tarry? Boromir sees something in your expression and falls silent. His journey too has ended. Is that it? Tell me what befell him as we walk, Brawlhalla. It is still a long way to the house of Elrond. But not that long. Oh, dear. He was a good man and brave, Brawlhalla. He died fighting evil. May each of us do the same, if that is where our roads must lead. Elrond awaits. The master of the house has asked me more questions than he has given me answers. Hmm. Perhaps you will fare better. I will show you to him. Gandalf! Tell me where is Gandalf, for I much desire to speak with him. The road! Yes. I know something of the road you took to get here. Go follow. And some of the tidings you bring. Not all, no. Not all. But some. Folk of different lands have come to Rivendell in recent days. And I see in that a hopeful sign. Councils will be taken in the days to come. And decisions of great import must be made. But this is not my house. You should speak with Elrond, its master, and give him the message you have brought across so many miles. I will see you again, Brawlhalla. 
many times. Welcome to Rivendell, Brawlhalla. This is a place of safety and refuge, and you are welcome to take what rest you can within the Vale. But first, are you willing to tell me what brings you here? Many are the dangers you have faced to get here, and if your tale is like the others I have heard of late, I believe they signify trouble ahead for the peoples of Middle-earth. You tell Aaron that you have much to tell, and he nods a thoughtful expression on his face. Speak, then, of how you came to this place of safety, Rivendell, the last homely house east of the sea. But speak swiftly before the shadows deepen. <laughs> From where did your road lead? That's it. <gasps> That's kind of weird that they didn't tell you, like, warning, this quest will teleport you to Rivendell. Be wary. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed how, uh, how short <laughs> hobbits are. <laughs> Until I've noticed this. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> you have woven quite a tale, Brohola. And if you should wish to it to be ended, none will judge you for it. But in your words I sense something else. Indeed, two somethings. I sense that you possess a desire for adventure. And it remains unquenched even after your trials in the wilderness. You could not remain in this peaceful haven for long before that desire compelled you to once again seek out and oppose great dangers. And I sense too that you wish to continue your work on behalf of the free peoples of Middle-earth. We enter a dangerous time. And mighty foes seek to return to the height of their powers. Heights that were stolen from them in centuries past by great heroes. Are you to be one of those heroes in this age, Brawlhalla? I wonder. Hmm. So rest then, for as long as you wish and return to me when you are ready to resume your adventure. The shadow that rises in Angmar must be faced and defeated, and I fear the black riders that trouble Cardolan and pursued Frodo Baggins hither have not been defeated for good. One of their number has not been found. Oh, dang. Dark days are coming. Okay, so that presumably is why they want you to be at least 32. <clears throat> so that you can go right into this next quest. That makes sense, I guess. But it's kind of silly. <clears throat> Welcome to Imladris, Brawlhalla. It is good that you have come. Rest well, but not too deeply or too long. We have need of adventuring folk, for there is evil beyond the Vale. Not more than two months ago, a hobbit by the name of Frodo Baggins and his companions were pursued in the ford of Bruninian by servants of the enemy. I speak of the Nine, the Nazgul, the Black Riders, the Nazgul, I think I already read that one, the fell servants in the service of Sauron. And though the Bruninian fell upon them at my command, 
we have found the steeds of only eight. One of the riders is unaccounted for. My son set forth with scouts bound to them by friendship to seek the missing rider. I ask that you speak with Elidan at the camp of Thorinhad, among the Bruninian gorges, and lend your aid to the search. We must learn where the Nazgul has gone, and more importantly, his designs. There you go, chat. The story that leads right into book four. I gotta be honest, if I was a new player, I'm not sure I would have liked the level to 32 thing. Also, I feel like they need to make it be more than just to 32, considering that this is a red level quest. Let me look on Lotro Wiki and see how fast the quests continue to rise. If it if it stays at this level, you know, that's okay. Um, but if it keeps going, that could be quite dangerous. So there's two quests at 37, and then it goes to 38, but then it goes back to 37, but then it goes back to 38, 39, 40. Yeah, I, I think they really should have had us go to like 35, honestly, but I'm glad they didn't because we'd still be lovely. <laughs> Alright, we do still have something to do, chat. I don't know if you realize this, but we are not done with our activities here. We need to do the instance. To get the full sense of the story. Did you guys know you could jump on this? I don't think I knew that, chat. Wait, these are just aesthetic pillars? I don't think I knew that either, chat. Yeah, look at that. They don't even go to the ceiling. What the heck? It's all fake! <laughs> Some library? Look at the design up there, oh my gosh. There are just so many details in Lotro. I mean, there's even like stuff going into that corner. And look at like the, oh my goodness. So much work put into this. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Having way too much fun. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and do that instance chat. <laughs> Getting caught up in thumbnails. Can we launch? I don't think we can launch from inside Elrond's library, if I remember right. I think we have to leave. Has that rug always been there? I think it has. Honestly, don't remember. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and go into the instance finder. And do Sarkvorn, the Black Grave. Countless dead were laid to rest in mass graves. Oh my gosh. Before the fall of Cardolan, in the aftermath of the war with Angmar and the Great Plague that followed, Countless dead were laid to rest in mass burials Jeez. among the stones of a ruined temple of the Edain. Its name of old forgotten, it came to be known as Sarkvorn, the Black Grave. And though centuries of abandonment, none save the most unwary or foolhardy ever dared approach it. 
But now, the Witch King of Angmar has returned to rouse the Barrow Whites from their slumber and summon forth an ancient evil thought banished long ago. The Grey Fear. Dang, here we go. Time to find some light bulbs. Oh crap, you got a hatchling? Nobody told me about baby spiders. And trees? Oh my gosh. didn't ask about them? Well, that's fair, I guess. Holy crap, rats? Oh my, light effects, Batman. There we go. Wait, are you bleeding? Holy crap! We're both, like, bleeding out of our jugular. Goodness. Freaking beetles. the heck, game? This way, maybe? With a den of splittering bones and branches, a terrible creature awakens. <laughs> well, that was easy. Because we're a brawler. Is there a chest to loot? Chest? Chest. We got a singular coin of cartilage inside the chest. <clears throat> there was a sad banker on that deal. All right. Oh, crap. Oh my goodness, that effect is really bugging me. Bye. Oh crap. 
<laughs> he gone. There we go. Hey, it completes advanced deed. Good deal, good deal. Close to earning that one. Um, let's see, let's go back to zeal. We'll earn some zeal. Whoa, that was like a cool, crazy effect on you. Lyloth. Oh crap. He gone. He gone. Bring it, light bulbs. Got a dog chilling with you? What the heck? You are brave to have made it this far. But Sarkborn will not be a part of your story. It will be the end. Asterin, after them! Freedom. Finally. chest there we go oh crap in the darkest depths of Sarkvorn you discover Hiltharandor in the guise of Prince Amundir At last you arrive. See you now the fate that awaits those who defy me. Okay. Once I served the Ordainer, but no longer. I forsake my master of old, he who abandoned me to the enemy. He who left me broken and without form. In his kindness, the Witch King of Angmar has granted me his power. Okay. For too long I slumbered, all but forgotten by the men of Cardolan. In time, they will all remember me, and the tales of old shall strike fear into their hearts. In the shadows of Angmar, a vast kingdom of the dead shall flourish. And there, I will sit in judgment evermore. The kingdom of the dead awaits you. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's actually fight the guy.
Ooh, he had some like bad reflex or something. Probably a mechanic I need to know about. Becoming nearly invulnerable and turning your attacks against you. So how do we get rid of that? Darkness within you. It's got that stuff again. Okay. There we go. No, I will not abandon this vessel. Not yet. <laughs> One punch. Go get the smoke balls, thank you. Thankfully we <laughs> finally figured it out after we almost lost there. Goodness. Oh, there we go. Enough! You shall be mine! <laughs> oh crap. Rise, my subjects! I see darkness within you. The dead obey me! upon your fear there we go what is this no my lord you cannot summon me no there we go chat Crazy end.